CBS Morning host Nancy Cords ambushed South Carolina Congressman Trey Gowdy in a stupid attempt to put him on the spot. The bulldog instantly made her regret it with a brutal reality check that you don't want to miss, and luckily, we have the video. Congressman Trey Gowdy appeared on CBS Face the Nation to discuss the horrific mass shooting in Parkdale, Florida, where 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz murdered 17 innocent people in cold blood. During the interview on Sunday, February 18, 2018, morning host Nancy Cords grilled the congressman for answers on what steps the leadership in Congress would be taking to prevent the use of modified semi-automatic rifles. According to Daily Caller, Cords started by asking Gowdy how he would respond to the students at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School who are now accusing politicians of not doing their jobs. What do you say to these kids who argue that politicians like you, who take money from the NRA, have blood on their hands? Cords asked. Gowdy calmly responded, The first thing I would say to those children and my own is I'm sorry that you have grown up in a generation that has only known violence and there is no sanctuary, there is no place of refuge. The schools aren't safe, the churches aren't safe, the concerts. So, I applaud their activism. I would encourage them to look at three components. Final photos taken just moments before tragedy struck poplaster.com exats by Riv Content find out more greater than 97,123 he continued by first listing those components, saying, the shooter himself, the instrumentality, and then any form of mitigation, whether it is magazine capacity, whether it is the speed with which the projectile is expelled, but you have to look at all three. You have to look at the shooter, and you have to look at the instrumentality by which the shooter is in people. I applaud their activism and if I were them I'd be as angry as they are. Cords then asked, when you talk about instrumentality are you talking about weapons that can or injure many people in a short period of time should be more restricted than they are now Gaudi New Cords was trying to push him into a conversation about gun control. Ads by Rev Content Doing this before bed could help you regrow your hair Watch this regrow hair X The unusual link between coconut oil and Alzheimer's memory repair X Strange link between eggs and diabetes Watch healthy tips X He responded, saying, well, you can certainly look at that, but of course Nancy, some of the more heinous mass ings we've had involve semi-automatic pistols, and I have had people when I was a prosecutor with all manner of instrumentality. From shovels to bricks to rope to hands, you're equally dead. So, whether it's a semi-automatic pistol, at this point in the interview, Cords cut Gowdy off. Wait a minute congressman, she said. In Las Vegas, the shooter was able to injure 500 people in minutes. You can't do that with a shovel or a brick, Cords added, likely feeling intelligent for such a profound contribution to the interview. Unfortunately, Gowdy was going to point out what Captain Obvious chose to ignore. No, you cannot. And that's why I say you should look at the instrumentality and magazine capacity and the speed with which the projectiles including bump stocks, but you also have to look at the shooter and Nancy. In almost half the instances of mass shootings there was notice provided to someone that the person was going to do what he ultimately did, the congressman explained. In school shootings, almost 80% of the time there was notice provided. So, you have to look at all of it. If you only look at instrumentality and you don't look at the person who's pulling the trigger then I think you're doing a disservice to everyone who wants to see an end to ings, including massings, Gaudi replied. Cords fired back, saying, so I think what these kids are saying is, we have looked at all of these things, we just haven't done anything. Why for example HASNT Congress take an action on bump stocks this is something that both sides agree should be curtailed. If you're saying that we need to make it easier for law enforcement to step in when someone exhibits symptoms of violence, why don't we make it easier for them to do that? Gaudi replied, you could impose a duty to disclose. We have it in other categories of law. You could impose a lawful duty to disclose if you hear that someone is planning to do something. And, the shooting in Florida, you didnt need a duty to disclose. People did he come forward and put the FBI on notice. He continued, bump stocks turn semi-automatic weapons into fully automatic weapons. Fully automatic weapons are already illegal, so I'm fine with doing away with any instrumentality that converts a semi-automatic to a fully automatic. Cords thought she would ambush Gaudi at this point as a member of leadership, but she forgot one important detail. She asked, 
Gaudi replied. Obviously, Nancy Cord thought she had tried Gaudi on the ropes with her assertion that he was a member of leadership. She got a little carried away with her attempt to score ideological touchdowns in front of her viewers and ended up embarrassed because of it. Final photos taken just moments before tragedy struck poplaster.com exats by Rev Content find out more greater than 52,939 once again. Gaudi does what he does best and keeps good old-fashioned common sense in a conversation that would otherwise be saturated with progressive psychobabble. It truly is unfortunate that Trey Gowdy will be leaving Congress when his term is up. H.E.S. One of the greats.